Well, everyone, macOS Sequoia has been out for a little bit of time now. And I wanted to go and kind of tell you all how this particular version of software is holding up on the oldest supported MacBook Air that is currently supported on macOS you know, Sequoia. Now, the first thing to keep in mind is that macOS Sequoia as of this point is supported on the 2020 MacBook Air. This is basically the lowest end MacBook Air that this version of software is supported on, which I think is kind of crazy. I definitely do think that macOS Sequoia could actually you know, hold up a little bit better, you know, on even like a 2018, 2019 MacBook Airs like those ones. Not hold up better, but it could hold up pretty well on those versions of software. But I do kind of see what Apple is doing here. There's still a lot of Intel Mac supported on, you know, macOS Sequoia, but within the MacBook Air, even the base model, the oldest MacBook Air that's supported on, supported on MacOS Sequoia is amazing. So far, I've had a really good time with it. There are bugs and issues all over the place. But for a beta version of the software, I kind of genuinely do think that Apple did a really decent job within this particular version of software for this MacBook. You have to remember that within macOS Sequoia, this is a very big upgrade. And because Apple removed a lot of those Intel based MacBooks for their MacBook Air lineup that are supported with software, that increased the threshold of all the devices that are going to be doing a better job on macOS Sequoia. So as of this point, if you go ahead and take a look at something like the, you know, let's say like a iPhone, like an iPhone on iOS 18, the oldest one, that one isn't really going to be giving you the best experience because it's such an old iPhone like the iPhone XR. But within macOS Sequoia, because the threshold is that M1 MacBook Air, that M1 MacBook Air was such a good device. It was a very good device. It was killer in almost every single area. And that was something that was very, very nice and something I really appreciated with a device like that. So this in and of itself, in my personal opinion, was another very cool thing going on within the MacBook Air. Now, on top of that, of course, there's bugs and issues all over the place. The install process was pretty similar as all the other betas. I do really appreciate, though, that within macOS Sequoia, because they're supported on the M1 MacBook Airs, these MacBooks actually do support Apple Intelligence as well. So it is really nice to be able to go through and use those Apple Intelligence features if your MacBook supports it. And luckily for us, our MacBook Air, the M1, the oldest supported MacBook Air, does actually end up getting macOS Sequoia, which in my personal opinion, I'm actually a big fan of, you know, as well. And I think that in and of itself, again, is another really cool thing. So far, the performance of macOS Sequoia, you know, it has been one of those things where it's going to get better throughout time. But I don't know if it's like the best right now. But as I mentioned before in other videos, having a dedicated game mode where you can go through and just play, you know, those games on higher frame rates or, you know, close that background apps to actually, you know, focus on the game. I think that's a really, really cool thing that you have the capability of doing inside of this device as well. And I do think that in and of itself is another very, very cool thing. And if I'm going to go through and pick up a device, that in and of itself is a very cool thing of having a device that's going to be giving you very good performance from that side as well. So I do think when you're looking at it from that particular perspective, it is giving you a very solid experience, which is something I actually appreciate and I like a lot about these types of phones. So, and that I really appreciate a lot about these particular MacBooks, not phones. Now, I do think on top of that, of course, it's going to get better and more stable throughout time. But even as of this point, I'm still getting like very good performance and capability from a device like this. You know, it's not really terrible. And you're still getting a lot of features within macOS Sequoia as well. So overall, what I'll tell you is there's definitely a lot of improvements that, you know, Apple needs to kind of you know put in inside of macOS Sequoia, but I'm still very, very happy with the way this particular device is held up. And I do think there's a lot of reasons why you should go ahead and buy an M1 MacBook Air, especially considering this one is giving you that type of capability. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.